got the Rainmaker. Um, it took a while, but it's here. I've actually had it for a couple weeks. Um, I've not used it yet, but I'm going on to for family vacation uh, on Wednesday. So I've got it sort of test packed out a bit. Kind of want to see how heavy it is. Um, with all the stuff that I think I'm going to be bringing, this may not be the final uh, list of stuff that I'm bringing, but I wanted to kind of talk about the bag, my first impressions, how much stuff does it hold, and then I'll do a follow-up video afterwards to kind of like tell you how it actually performed in the wild. But you can see it's basically a big box on my back, which it has its pros and cons. I, I don't like how far out it sticks, but the compromise, what makes it good is that the, foot, the footprint on my back is smaller. Um, if it was thinner, but still had the same amount of volume, it would be longer or wider, um, but you know, the depth would be smaller. So it's, it's a trade-off um, that I don't know how to solve without just going much smaller, which, well, we'll unpack this and kind of see how much space I have left. Um, could I pack smaller? Probably. This is the medium size. I know it probably doesn't look it because it's so big on me, but I'm a very small person. So I'm 115 pounds, five foot one. Um, so this does look like a big bag, but this is not the large size. This is the medium size. This is 22 liters. Um, so let's uh, unpack it though. I actually, when I put all this here and set up the camera, I'm like, oh, I forgot to put in these things, but I'm pretty sure these fit fine sort of here on top so bringing tea because I'm a snob and there's not normally good tea anywhere um, this is just a notebook uh, which... actually I could fit this on the inside but yeah that can go there for now actually bleh. this may end up going in my husband's bag because um, he has a much bigger bag than mine we are renting a car and we're not splurging for like extra GPS when we just have phones. Um, so this is a mount that goes in the car so I can, you know, know where I'm going when I'm driving. Um, I've looked into getting smaller ones, magnetic ones, where it's basically just this part here and there's a magnet and then there's a magnet you put on like your phone case or just on the back of your phone. Um, I don't, I want to do a bit more research into is that going to mess up the compass? Like, I don't think it's going to mess up anything else, but a couple people said it may mess up the compass. So just want to do a little bit more research into that. Um, if you have any information, feel free to leave it in the comments. But, uh, so we're going to be bringing this. And I forgot to plan for this. It probably would fit, but it might also just fit in my husband's bag, which I don't want to, like, rely on that as a one-bagger. Uh, we're both one-baggers. But anyway, so... <clears throat> First impressions on this bag, it's very pretty. I do like, I did get a custom bag and the main reason why I went with the custom was because I wanted the this pocket here, the extra, the it's like slash pocket, quick access pocket. Um, I was going back and forth on a clamshell design, to be honest. I thought at first, you know, I definitely need the clamshell. This does open almost clamshell, like the opening, the main bag opening comes all the way down to here. Um, now that I got it, I do, like I didn't go with a clamshell, but I wish I had it. Um, oh well, it's custom bag, can't return it. Um, and they're like back ordered right now and everything too. So um, this took four or five weeks, maybe for me to get it. Um, but it's here in time for my trip, so um, it feels, I gotta say, it feels kind of over-engineered. Um, it is very heavy. The bag itself weighs over three pounds, and this is the, the smaller size, uh, which it is very good materials. It's very thick, durable materials, and I feel like after five years of heavy use, this is going to be the most comfortable worn-in bag, but brand new, it has a very like stiff feeling to it, very heavy feeling. 
Um, and again, it, it some people like over-engineered bags. Um, I would have preferred, honestly, a little less engineering and, you know, cut out some of the weight. Um, that being said, packed out the way it is right now without my laptop, this is just over 10 pounds, which isn't that heavy. And when I put it on, it's actually fairly comfortable. Um, it feels kind of this may sound weird, pillowy, like it, it kind of like conforms nicely. The straps are pretty wide. Um, so on me, I do, like at first I thought I didn't need um, these sort of cumbersome, this sort of cumbersome uh, sternum strap, but it really does help to keep these very wide straps from like pulling back on my shoulders. Um, so this is nice. I may try to figure out a better way to attach them, and I think I need to attach them lower. Um, the load lifters also help a bit. Uh, without them, the bag kind of like sits away from the top of my back, and again, that kind of lends to this feeling like something's pulling back on me. So the load lifters do help with that. There's no um, hip strap, which is actually fine. Um, the... Compression straps, honestly, like, I've never really liked them. Um, I don't know that they help too much. I don't really have it compressed down right now, but, um, I am very tempted to just cut these off, to be honest. Um, because it's, like, pulling on stuff, which, you see, it makes it hard to pull stuff out now. And this is what I was thinking would happen, is if I just want quick access to this top stuff, this is pulling down right here, and it makes it really hard to pull this out, which I don't even have this. I don't have this very packed out. So I have my liquids and cables and headphones. So, but... Maybe I could pack this a little bit differently, but you know, that just goes in there and then I can like throw maybe this a bit. Yeah. Yeah. This fits. Okay, so that goes in there fine. I just didn't have this packed in there well. But it does mean getting to my liquids for TSA. I have to pull this stuff out first. So maybe I pack this in there first, and then that, and then this. But I'll figure that out. Um, so. This is what I kind of have just stuck down the front. Um, I do like that this front pocket does have dimension, but again, if you have your compression straps pulled tight, it, you lose some of that dimension because it's like pulling this down and, you know, just you're losing some dimension. The, um, the rain flaps, I guess you get like, you just do this a lot. Eventually it'll soften up and be nice. Right now it's not very nice. Um, but, I'm move this out of the way. Oops, up here I just have, like, if I need it quick, I have um, the Proxen and my eye mask. May throw uh, some granola bars in there. Where are my granola bars? I thought I had those packed. I have some granola bars. Uh, that I'll probably just throw in there. This is actually, like, you could lose stuff because it, like, it goes in all the way. It, like, makes complete use of the space, uh, which is what I wanted because I thought without it, you know, you would just have this empty space up at the top here that is hard to utilize. So I kind of think this should be a permanent fixture in their, like, in-stock bags and shouldn't be a custom fixture, but... Custom feature, um, but just the the main part of the bag. There's not a lot to it. Um, so here's why I think I should have gone with the clamshell is because if this ooh, let's just say some of this stuff is in here when I you know like it opens all the way down here. But if you have stuff in this front compartment, it doesn't open very far. Whereas if it was a clamshell, then I could just lay it open. It's not as bad if there's not stuff in it. Like, see now, like it, it you know, flops open pretty good. But if you have stuff in it, I'm really kicking myself over that. Not getting the clamshell. 
Um, but this does, see this is what I mean about kind of the over-engineering. I feel like there's some wasted space with the this piping here on the inside. But, I mean, like, I sew myself. Like, I see, you know, why they made some decisions and, you know, some of the, the way it's crafted. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what to, I can't just sit here and say, well, you should have done this or you should have done that because it's a good bag. I just, I'm worried that I'm regretting the purchase. Um, but anyway, it has two mesh pockets here. Uh, with zips. I just have, the, we're going to a wedding, there's the wedding invitation and some tickets that they have for an after party thing. Um, I may like put my notebook in here, um, but there's not, you can really only have like flat stuff. It even it seems like this has some dimension, barely, um, but you can't really, if you've got stuff here. But I, here I have, these are my dress shoes, because again, going to a wedding, they're just flat but nicer, not flip-flop shoes. Um, and I like keeping those in a separate bag. And then I just have two packing cubes here. Um, and they, I mean, the, the dimensions for this are pretty perfect. These are the Muji packing cubes. These are both the small. Um, I'm not sure, but I think the medium, like, like one medium foot, with, 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 one medium would fit in here perfectly, and two smalls fit in here fine lengthwise. Uh, but this is the interior of the bag. It does have a slash pocket here, which honestly isn't very useful for me. The mole, like, it's probably useful for some people, not really useful for me. Um, you can see actually on the inside where like some of the stitching is for, you know, the handle and stuff. Um, which is kind of nice. And so in my packing cubes, just quickly, I have um, the dress I'm going to wear for the wedding. Uh, I'm actually, I'm bringing jeans. I'm going to wear a pair of comfy jeans and then bring another pair of jeans. I know they're heavy. I know they don't wash well. I'm not, for two weeks, two pairs of jeans is, it's not quite two weeks. It's like 12 days, 11 nights that I'm going to be gone. So two pairs of jeans, I won't need to wash those. Um, I'm bringing wool and cotton shirts, um, which should be fine. I may need to wash the cotton shirts, um, at some point. Um, I'll need to wash underwear at some point, but I can always do, we're staying with family and at hotels, so I can just wash some stuff with family. Um, sleeping clothes, uh, what else? Swimsuit. I do have a pair of, like, very thin lounge pants to wear, like, at night. Um... But yeah, this all fits in here fine. Sleep short, sleep top. Um, six pairs of underwear, I think. So, uh, yeah, I may have to do laundry, which is fine. But that's all that's in these two. And the last part of the bag, um, which I don't have anything in, in. Looking at this bag, I was almost thinking, it'd be cool if there was a bag that had a detachable laptop compartment. So you can use the bag as a laptop bag, um, but it also detaches. I don't know how it would work, but like in my head it works. In my head it's an awesome idea. So bag makers, get on that. Um, but the back part here is where, and see this is where these rain flaps make it a little bit annoying. But the zippers go like all the way down like this. But this lays up nice and flat. Um, should be fine for TSA going through scanners, but I've heard even if you have this, sometimes they still make you take your laptop out, which, whatever. They have more slash pockets here, um, which there's actually quite a bit of dimension to this back pocket, and this is where a lot of the weight comes from, is this back panel, because it's very thick. Um, it's just, it's a lot, like, just lifting this here is pretty heavy. Um, it does feel very protected. It is lifted off the bottom. Um, I could probably, like, have my laptop in here and, like, lay out a sweater or a light jacket flat here. 
um, which is probably what I'm going to, even like if I don't have the laptop, I'm probably going to stick my jacket here. Um, not, I feel like it's a waste to have like this really nice laptop compartment and not bring my laptop. I'm just not sure it's going to add, you know, two or three pounds of extra weight with the laptop and the charger. Um, and I've got a tiny little, um, mouse, travel mouse, which doesn't take up much room. Um, but yeah, so these are my first impressions of the bag. I also noticed it's going to be very hard to see, but you can still see like chalk lines. Um, like these are handmade bags and you can still see chalk lines where, you know, they were lining stuff up. Uh, maybe you can see like on the bottom here, they've got, you know, the midpoint where they lined it up and then sewed it. Uh, which I'm not complaining, like, it's fine. Like, like I said, you know, I do sewing myself. I know about chalk lines. Um, it's, it's, I don't know, it adds to, like, sort of the hand. I don't want to say these feel handmade because they actually don't feel handmade. They feel very nicely engineered. Um, I'm just a little concerned about, uh, I was hoping that, you know, the medium bag would fit my frame better because I'm, I'm a small person. And the straps being so wide, I'm worried that it's going to be uncomfortable carrying it around, but we'll see. Like I said, I'm going to do a follow-up video after the trip um, with all, unpacking all the stuff I had in it and hopefully show you and tell you and give you updates. You know, does it fit under the seat? Um, which I, I think it should. I'm a little worried about <laughs> the depth. Um, but because that's an important thing because United's now doing a thing where you, they charge you 25 bucks if you want to bring a full size carry on bag. Um, I'm pretty sure this will fit under the seat and I won't have to worry about that. But um, I will update you when I get back in two weeks. Uh, well, actually, it depends on when I upload this. But I may upload this video before. I don't even do any editing. What am I talking about? I'm just going to upload this immediately to YouTube. So. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know if you have any uh, comments or questions. Um, yeah.